The way I recommend doing lesson uh, 5.3, which is identifying related facts, is to go ahead and solve all of the problems first. So I would go through and I would solve all of them. Okay. Now, the next thing you want to do is once you've solved all the problems, you want to go back and circle the facts that are related. So I'm looking at these two and I have to decide, are these two facts related? I see 5, 6, 11. Here I see 5, 6, 11. So these two are related facts. For number 2, I see 4, 9, 13. I see 4, 9, up, oh, that's 5 right there, so these two aren't related. 4, 7, 11, 4, 7, 11, these two are related, so I'm going to circle it. 9, 8, 17, 9, 8, 17, these are related facts. 5, 7, 12, 5, 7, up, oh, that one is 2, so these aren't related. 6, 8, 14, 14, 8, 6. Yes, those are all the same numbers, so I'm going to circle those because they're related. 4, 6, 10. Oh, I don't even have a 4 here, so those are obviously not related. 9, 5, 14, 9, 5, 14. Yes, those are related, so I'm going to circle it. The way I know that they're related is that all three of the numbers are used in both of the problems, and there aren't any numbers that are not part of both of them, okay? Use the numbers to write related addition and subtraction sentences. Here you get a choice. They give you a choice of numbers. However, with all facts, they have to be true. So I could use 6, 9, and 15. 6 plus 9 equals 15. Now I have to re uh, write a related subtraction fact. I know that in my subtraction facts, the sum from the addition problem is going to go first. Then I could choose either one of my add-ins to subtract, and the other add-in would be, end up being the difference. This is just one example. There are other ways that you could do this. Um, you could use 7, 8, and 15. You could have used 8, 9, and 17. So you have to make sure that whatever you choose is true. You couldn't do um, 6, 7, and 16 because 6 plus 7 does not equal 16. So that couldn't be one of the sums for 6 plus 7. 6 plus 7, there is nothing over here that matches 6 plus 7, so that's not something that you could use. All right, looking on the back. It says, which is a related fact for six, uh, 7 plus 6 equals 13? So I have to decide which of these facts is related to that addition problem. Well, I have 7, 6, and 13. I don't have a 7 here, so it can't be that. I have a 7 here, but I don't have a 6, so it can't be that. Let's see, 7, 6, 13. That looks like my answer, but let me check. 7, 6, no 13. So yes, it has to be this one. How many fewer feathers than birds are there? This is a review from a previous chapter. So I can just look at the picture and I can see that because this guy doesn't have a feather to be his partner, it is one fewer feather because there's only one bird that doesn't have a feather as a partner. Which has the same sum as 7 plus 8. This is a doubles plus 1 fact. So if I have this first add in here, 7 plus 8 is the same as... Well, 8 plus 8 plus 1 is 17, and this is 15, so that can't be it. 6 plus 6 plus 2 is 14, so that can't be it. 5 plus 5 plus 2 is 12, so that can't be it. 7 plus 7 plus 1, that's 15, so that's going to be my answer.